in the glory, not in the flesh. We are back in the Holy Ghost. And I have some exciting things to share with you. <laughs> Amen. I'm so happy to see you, friends. I've missed you greatly, missed you deeply. If you've been following me, you know that we have been on the move. The glory train of revival, of Route 66 revival, we have been chugga chugga chugging forward into glory. Friends, I have some exciting things to share with you um, to declare over your life. Amen. Friends of God, I'm so excited to release the glory over you. And yes, we are live here from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the belt buckle of the Bible belt of America. Amen. I'm so happy to see you, friends. I uh, cannot wait to greet some of you. So comment below where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Uh, this has been a long awaited, long overdue broadcast, but you're always in my thoughts, love, mind, and prayers. And today I want to release the breakthroughs of God. And I want to talk about the plans of God that will prevail. Every single plan, word, prophecy that Jesus has promised, prophesied over your life, it shall surely come to pass. So we are days, we are in the days of suddenlies and great, great momentum. And uh, I want to release that impartation, that grace that's been over us and our ministry. I want to release that over you in Jesus' name, amen. Because this is the season for great increase. The Lord said in this month of June, in the Hebrew month of Sivan, okay, as we are in the second half of 2023, the Lord said, get ready for a second wind and for the winds of change, for a push a mega momentum push to come upon you in the second half of 2023. Amen. All right, let me just fix my hair a little bit. But friends of God, this is Dr. Pastor Benlam. I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So good to see all of you. I've missed you. I love you dearly. Love you greatly. Comment below where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because I want to talk about something very important. And truly, it is a now Kairos word and there's many, many things happening in my life. So I wanna see uh, where you're watching from. So comment below, give us some hearts and likes, share. Let's build up the algorithm because it's been a while. It's probably been about two weeks since I've seen you on a live broadcast. So praise God. Elizabeth, hello from Japan. God bless you. Annette Naf, thank you, Andrea. Yes, yes, praying for breakthrough. I'm praying for your breakthrough through Providence Ivana. Amen. Mary, good to see you. Rob and Melissa Phillip, I saw y'all earlier. Amen. Who? Dee Dee says, I need it. Amen. Well, it's yours. DC, good to see you. Oh, yeah, we're going to see you, DC. Amen. Because you're in the Oklahoma region. All right, South Africa in the house. Praise God. AZ, Arizona in the house. We can't wait to be with you all in Arizona very soon. Jesus. Unsin de Milagros. Amen. Edna, good to see you. Bless you. Thank you for tagging. Come on, friends, help me to build up the room and the algorithm. And I want to come in prophetic agreement with you that every single plan that the Lord has will come to pass and it shall surely prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, Cecilia, Jamaica in the house, man. Amen. Bless you, Mary. South Carolina, God bless you. Come on. Yeah, Miami, Florida. Hey. Trump is in Miami right now. Amen. So and we already know that Mr. 45, Presidente 45, the chosen one, uh, the one who won. Amen. Uh, the anointed one, he, he he's going to get released 100 percent. And every single attack of the enemy will backfire like a boomerang in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. But friends of God, keep tapping in. Get in the glory, my friends. I'm excited to talk with you, to see you. Hello, uh, Kaki, Cindy, Gina, Yahweh, amen. Are you Marshallese? Come to Miami. I would love to come and minister in Miami. Please send us an email or an invite. Juwan Day, bless you, my friend, Chicago. We were just in Chicago. Queens, New York in the house. Hello there, Joy. Shalom to you. Abuja, Nigeria, amen. Friends of God, help me to get this to 100, and I'm going to begin to share the word of the Lord. Glendale, all right. I was born and raised in Burbank. I'm an 818 Valley boy. Uh, so it's good to see. And incredible what the Armenians did recently. Some Armenian parents 
uh, there was a brawl that broke out in front of the high school in Glendale because the LGBTQ, the transgenders, were, are trying to shove their evil, demonic, pedophilia, perverse agenda down the throats of our children. Uh, but the Armenian parents stood up. Ara susmana, hayek hayo. Hey, Feli, bless you. Good to see you. Amen. Angela Drake, shalom. Amen, says Wanda. Glory to God. How many go up to 100 at least? I believe we're going to break 100 because it's been a long uh, awaited time. All right. It's been long overdue, my friend. So, amen. Alabama in the house. Shalom, shalom. Reversete. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Jump into glory. Now, friends, tomorrow we're doing a house event. Tomorrow evening we're doing a house event. Hey, Jay Carlos, let's go, Dollars. Lord, Lord willing, they'll repent 100% in Jesus' name. Hello, Colleen from South Africa. But tomorrow evening, uh, we're doing a house meeting in Tulsa. And on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the tent is going up. The tent for the glory of God. The tent for the revival here in Tulsa for Route 66 revival. That's going to be incredible. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shara Baraka. Comment below if you hear me well, if you see me well. Amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, today I want to talk about the plans of God. Because I believe the plans of God are coming to pass. Amen. And it's good to see many friends. Hello, Phoenix in the house. Now, friends, I just want to kind of give you a quick update. Bring you into the mind, the heart, the life. Of Dr. Ben Lim. Amen. Well, friends, listen. Hello from Hawaii. God bless you. Aloha. Well, you know, we've been doing Route 66 Revival, and I want to let you know that we have seen 110 souls saved in the last 10, uh, no, in, excuse me, in the last two weeks. Okay. I think it's only been 10 days. Let me see. All right, what day is it today? In the last 13 days, we have seen 110 souls saved along Route 66 Revival. Let's give it up for Jesus, amen. I think we have about 25, seven water baptisms, amen. So God is moving exponentially, supernaturally, powerfully from Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City. And now we're here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So all the glory goes to Jesus. We're excited for all that he's doing. Uh, we're gonna be in Tulsa this weekend, this weekend. And next week we'll be in Amarillo, then Albuquerque. And we have our good friend, Jake Hamilton joining us in Albuquerque, all right? Uh, we have, uh, what do we have? Uh, we, we, it's not a stadium, but it's like, a, we have an amphitheater booked out in Albuquerque, so that's wonderful. And then after that, of course, we're gonna be in Flagstaff, then Phoenix, Arizona, with Steve Swanson, and then we are ending in Los Angeles with my good friend, Jake Hamilton. But, I want to say but, B-U-T, but, I think we have an incredible pop-up surprise for you. Amen. So y'all keep me in prayer. In the next 24 hours, we're going to pull the plug and or pull the trigger and make the decision. But truly God is on our side and every plan, every desire of the Lord will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're with me today, say amen. But yes, I am here in Tulsa, the home of Rama Papa Hagen, the home of Oral Roberts, so even this Friday, our team, we're going to be visiting ORU and have the wonderful tour of ORU uh, by some of our good friends there at ORU. But remember, and you know what? And here's another miracle. My good friend, Prophet Tim Kenner, shared with me that the ORU basketball team, no, no, the ORU football, no, I'm so sorry. The ORU baseball team, some say baseball. The ORU baseball team, all right, the University College baseball team is going to, I believe it's called the Junior World Series. The Junior World Series. So whoo, I feel the glory right there. So God is moving at ORU. God's moving in Tulsa in Oklahoma State. And there is a move of God, there's a revival that's happening. And uh, whenever, hear me now, whenever a city or a state is highlighted by championships, all right, that means that that's the victory of God. Really, it's the favor, the hand of God. All right, whenever NBAs, NFL, Major League Baseballs, Olympics, uh, Super Bowls, whenever, whenever these sports win these championships, to me, that is a sign of God. That's a sign of God's blessing. Remember, the Bible says promotion comes from the Lord. 
Amen? It doesn't come from east, west, south. It comes from the Lord himself. All right, so God is doing something. He is breathing upon Christian, Bible-believing, spirit-filled colleges and universities. And there's been a great transfer, as we already know. So many people are leaving the public school systems. A lot of people are leaving the school systems 100% and they're going into homeschooling, charter schools, Christian schools, because this is a time of the Great Awakening. This is a time of the Great Revival, amen? So God is moving his people into uh, sheep states and out of goat, state, goat states. God is bringing his people into goat nations. So, uh, and we believe America is God's goat nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, excuse me, sheep nation in the mighty name of Jesus. So say amen. So pray with me right now because I want to release this word. I believe from here, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, all the way to where you are watching from, there is going to be an incredible release, an incredible transference of the strategies of God. Amen. And if I could title today's broadcast uh, another way, it would have been uh, God's downloads and strategies. Because I really believe we're in a season of open heavens. Some say open heavens. We're in a season of open heavens. And uh, for me, even this morning, I woke up from different uh, prophetic dreams. And for me, I know as a prophetic voice, whenever the Lord meets me in dreams, that is a sign of download strategies and uploads. God is wanting to release his divine rhema and his kairos over your life. Can I get an amen? Now, I don't get a lot of dreams, okay? I see much more visions. I see more visions rather than dreams. But the Lord's been meeting me in dreams, significant faces, names in these dreams. And I believe it's a time for the strategies of God. Do you need God's strategies? Do you need the word of the Lord? Do you need Jesus to speak to you afresh? Do you need fresh manna? Do you need fresh bread? I believe right now, it, but God is about to give you the breakthrough. And God is going to give you breakthrough plans breakthrough strategies where things are going to come to pass quickly. And even by the end of this month, says God, get ready for June boom. Someone say June boom. Come on, somebody. I need you to have faith in this place. Some people think it's June gloom. Okay, listen, uh, I, I lived in Newport Beach and praise God, I'm happy to be moving back to Huntington Beach area in the next month or so. But many people, if you live near the ocean, there's something called June gloom. Why? Because around the month of June, the fog, the ocean fog smog is very heavy. So we call it June gloom. But I prophesied June boom. And in this month of June, there's gonna be a mega mighty wind, a shaka baba suddenly, rub sudden winds of change, where the upper room was filled with fire and and with winds and with angelicals. Come on, somebody. I need you to give me some hearts and lights because I feel the power of God. Where the upper room is filled with angels, with miracle angels, with the baptism, the promises of God, the promise of the Father being fulfilled. No longer will it be a June of doom and gloom, but it will be a June of the mega boom. And of course, we see what this month of pride, even uh, yesterday or today, uh, we saw Joe Biden at the White House holding a pride parade at the White House. My goodness, y'all, listen, uh, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, we already know these people are pretty much running around naked uh, and uh, uh, just evil, 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 human mutilation, uh, transgenderism, evil, evil, evil. Uh, and that's pretty much what Asherah and Malech did, what Baal did at the Asherah polls, Malek altars, Baal altars, all right, these transgenders and mutilation of the flesh and uh, sodomy, homosexuality, all of these evil, grotesque sins, all right? So, but in this month of June, we're gonna see a boom of justice, a boom of revival. Come on, somebody. We're gonna see a boom of glory and miracles and a harvest because the Lord declared that this summer is a summer of revival. This is a summer of miracles, can I get a witness in this place? This summer from June, July, and August, I believe we're in a three-month window of miracles and a three-month window of revival and harvest and supernatural signs and wonders. Get ready for doors to be wide open 
open in your life. Get ready for doors that were shut to become wide open in the mighty name of Jesus. God has given you access, say access. God has given you access to glory dimensions and to glory realms, and God has given you access in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to lift up your hands right now because I feel the fire of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the fire of God. No longer shall June be a month of doom and gloom. Cha! But we declare it shall be a month of the mega boom, a boom of miracles, harvest and revival, for this is a summer of revival. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Somebody say amen, amen, and amen. Well, friends of God, I want to prophesy because I believe right now, God is in my plans will prevail. The plans of God will prevail in your life, amen. Every wicked plot of the enemy, every arrow, every dart, every witchcraft attack, whatever the devil is trying to stir up or conjure up against you. It may be a spirit of delay. It may be a spirit of despair. It may be a spirit of being in debt or discouraged, but God is breaking that heaviness off of you for the Bible says that he turns your mourning into dancing and truly this is a turnaround season. Even as President Trump is falsely accused and indicted again, can you believe it? The first time in American U.S. history where one president has been indicted twice. Come on, somebody. And literally, in the last three months, the devil is a liar, and he's a scared little kitty cat because he knows what's going to happen. It's going to be a tsunami wave in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say landslide. That is unstoppable. Can I get an amen? But I want to prophesy because the plans of God will prevail. All right, it's not going to fail in your life. I need you to say that. God's plans will prevail and will not fail in my life. God's plans will prevail. And really, like I said earlier, I feel such an open heavens. And it might be because I'm really in revival right now myself. But I believe this grace is opened up for you as well. If you receive it, say amen. And give us some hearts and likes. Because God has wanted to give you strategies and downloads and uploads in the name of Jesus. Guys, can I just brag on the Lord real quick? Can I, can I just brag on the Lord? Amen. Can I just brag on Jesus and encourage you, okay? In this month of August, I'm doing a Southeast Asia tour. I'm going to Asia. And I've been wanting to go to Myanmar for a number of years. In fact, I was scheduled to go to Myanmar in 2020. Now, Myanmar, Burma is probably one of the most war-torn uh, countries even today, okay? And so I was planned to go to Myanmar, Burma in 2020. But of course, the Corona Bologna happened and all the nonsense began to happen, right? Uh, so it was canceled. Now it's 2023. And for the longest time since then to now, you needed a jab mandate. You needed a jab card to go to Burma. Now, of course, you know me, I'm not going to put human DNA, uh, children, uh, fetal uh, parts into my body. I'm not going to align with the spirit of the Antichrist in Jesus' name. All right. Uh, so because I did not take the jab, uh, I was not able to go to Myanmar, but I've been praying. I said, God, I want to go to Burma. I've never been to Burma. Burma needs revival. Burma needs the fire of God, Jesus. And I've been praying. And suddenly I see today, I open up the website and the jab COVID vaccine mandate has been lifted off of Burma. Can I get an amen? Has been lifted. Some would say it's lifted in Jesus name. So I'm so excited. We are affirming things up now because in the month of August, I'll be ministering Singapore, Malaysia, and Myanmar. And as well, the door has opened for Jakarta, Indonesia. Can I get an amen? So it's going to be a mega, mega a month of glory and revival in Asia because who knows that the Asian communities, one third of the world's population, amen, one third of the world, we need to see revival in Asia. And uh, so God's doing something new. So praise God. And, and that's my brag and my boast in the Lord. So why am I sharing this? Because the plans of God will prevail. It will succeed. It will not stop. Can I get an amen? And today I want to talk to you about God's strategies, God's downloads, God's plans. Because I believe some of you, hear me now. I believe some of you are at a crossroads today. Some of you need a major breakthrough. You've hit some walls. You've hit some breaking points. You want to break down. You're tired. Okay. You've been discouraged, dismayed, but I believe there's going to be some strategies where God is going to shock your enemies. 
God is going to release the upper hand and he's going to shock your enemies. Come on, somebody. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. Give some hearts and likes. I believe in this month of June, there's going to be a turnaround and a switcheroo. And there's going to be a suddenly from heaven that's going to shock your enemies. So let's go into the Bible. Let's go into the word of God. Amen. I want to go over to, to this word here, Proverbs 24, verse 6. And I thought this was incredible from the message version, okay, which I don't read from the message version, but I do like to compare different translations. Now, Proverbs 24, verse 6 from the message, strategic planning is the key to it. Amen. I want you to repeat that. Strategic planning is the key to warfare. You need a lot of good counsel. Uh, you need a lot of good counsel. Amen. Strategic planning. I want you to say strategic planning. So I believe there's some plans of God that he's given you. He's downloaded. He's spoken up to your friends. Even in the last few days, I'm so excited. We are beginning to prepare for 2024. I'm so excited for what God's going to do next year. Amen. Come on. I, we are beginning to get ready now. And the Lord said this, and I'm going to tell you, this is a secret, but I'm going to tell you because I love you, my Facebook online family community. Amen. The Lord said seven days of glory. So next year, we are praying into, planning into already, seven days of glory in different strategic cities, different strategic regions and states. Can I get a name? Seven days of glory. My goodness. Now, friends, I'm telling you, you need these strategies. You need the wisdom of God, the counsel of God. You need the word of the Lord. God's plans will prevail. So once again, Proverbs 24, verse 6. Strategic planning is the key to warfare. To win, you need a lot of good counsel. My God, if someone say amen. If you receive that, say, I receive it. Strategic planning is the key to warfare. Why? Because warfare is a chess match. War is a war is a chess match. Spiritual warfare is a chess match. And the spiritual warfare is a chess match. And the Lord knows how to give you the upper hand. Jesus knows how to strategically plan and move you forward so that you will gain the victory in front of your enemies. Now, some of you are in desperate need for strategic planning. You're in desperate need for the rhema voice, the word of the Lord. Can you get amen? So in this season, I believe God is about to give you strategies, downloads, uploads, blueprints. God is opening up the heavens to give you clarity, to give you wisdom, to give you ideas. That's going to shock the world. If you receive it now, say amen. The Lord says seven days of glory. So next year, we're beginning to pray and plan already into seven days of glory. Literally in the last few days, there's already been a number of different downloads that's been coming where God has been preparing me and our ministry for what's to come. It's called harvest. Someone say amen. So now let's go to this passage here. Amen. Let's go over to this passage of Proverbs 16, verse 1. All right. Proverbs 16, verse 1. If you're with me today, say amen. The plans of the heart belong to man. But the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. The plans of the heart belong to man. But the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All right. Now here, I'm going to read from the NLT, the New Living Translation of this verse here. The Bible here says, Shikaraba. We can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. Are you ready for the right answer? Are you ready for the Kairos answer from heaven? Listen, I want to talk to you. There's many things you've prayed for, you've planned for, you strategized for. But the Lord is saying, make room for a suddenly. God is saying, clear the table, clear the way, prepare the way, make room for a suddenly. Because God is about to give you his plans and his answers. Do you need an answer? Do you need Jesus to answer you? Can I get amen? Do you need the Lord to answer you? I believe right now we're in a season where God is about to give you the answer. What happens when someone knocks on the door? You answer the door. What happens when someone gives you a call and rings your phone? You answer the phone. Are you ready for an answer? And the Lord is saying there's going to be plans 
strategies. There's going to be upper hand wisdom, revelation, and insight that's going to shock your enemies. Can I talk to you today? Listen, remember when King David, when he was trying to bring the Ark of God's covenant, what did he do? He used a strategy of the Philistines. Come on, I need you to stay with me. Give some hearts and likes and pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. When King David first brought in the Ark of the Covenant, what did he do? He used the strategies of man, of the flesh, of the Philistines. And he tried to mimic and copy the ways of the world. Amen. And what did he do? Because he tried to do so, an innocent man was killed. Okay, I mean... Was he innocent because he stretched out his hand? I mean, maybe there was innocence in his heart because his motives were right, but he even went about it in the wrong way. Amen. And of course, after that, the Bible says that David began to cry out to the Lord, but the right answer came from heaven above. Can I get an amen? Are you ready to seek his face? Are you ready to go back into the prayer room? Are you ready to go back into the prayer closet? Because Jesus is about to give you the right answer. Can I get a hallelujah? Because the Bible says we all see in part and we know in part, which means that the closer we get to the cross, the closer we get to Jesus, which means the more we tarry and linger in his presence, the more of the actual substance, uh, substance will actually uh, substantiate and will actualize and will manifest into reality. All right, if you're following this before, not yet, yes. So David had a plan. David had a way. David had a strategy and a thought. And it was good. But it was the ways of the Philistines. God had a better plan. She kind of, but God had a higher word. Oh, I feel the glory. Jesus' ways is higher. His ways and his thoughts are higher. Can I game? Listen, your thoughts, your plans are higher. But get ready for God to download, to upload a higher realm, a higher strategy, to bring you up higher in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. For this is a season of unstoppable momentum and unstoppable upward movement, says the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. God is going to give you the right answer answer and a strategic plan to give you the upper hand and to give you favor. Someone say amen. Can I give you another example? We see the story of Queen Esther. Okay. Queen Esther, she overheard uh, that Haman was falsely accusing her. Oh, I feel the glory. Come on, give me some hearts and likes. You need to help me build this atmosphere because I feel the fire of Jesus right now. All right. Queen Esther overheard the plot of Haman to destroy and to falsely accuse her Jewish people the people of God, but she overheard. Come on, somebody. God is going to cause you to hear. God is going to open up your ears to hear, to receive the rhema, the revelation, the whisperings, the rumblings, the mumblings, the grumblings. Amen. And Esther overheard and she began to cry out to God. God gave her the divine strategy and she was suddenly led to fast for three days. The Bible says even all the livestock of the Israelites did not eat a thing for over three days. God gave her strategy. Someone say strategy. Listen, many times you don't need another word. You just need the strategy to walk it out. Can I get amen? You already know the word is victory. The word is glory. The word is miracles. You already know the word is re redemption, recompense. But the Bible says, David asked the Lord, do I stay? Do I go? And God said in this zigzag moment, he said, pursue for you shall surely overtake all. God gave him strategy. God gave him the green light. God gave him the confirmation. And I want to prophesy over you, green lights, green lights, it's go time. If you needed a word of confirmation, this is it for you. Green light, access granted. Can I get a hallelujah? I want you to shout amen. In this season, God is giving you the divine strategy to uproot, to shock, to overcome your enemies and your enemies will be shocked in Jesus' mighty name. Someone say amen. Now, can I give you another example from the word of God, from the Bible? Amen. Are you enjoying this? Hallelujah. Let me give you another example. We see that Jonathan, the son of King Saul, Jonathan wanted to go into the enemy's camp. 
and we see that the Philistines were way outnumbered than Jonathan. However, Jonathan had one armor bearer. Jonathan had a one armor bearer, and those one plus one can put the flight 10,000. One can put the flight 1,000, but two can put the flight 10,000. That is exponential grace. Someone say exponential. That is exponential grace. Are you ready for exponential grace? Who here knows that having the right people will cause you to multiply? However, come on somebody, having the wrong people in your camp will not only delay you, but it will jezebelically destroy you, infiltrate you from the inside out. It will subvert and sabotage your forward motion in Jesus' name. So Jesus, remember, he only needed 12. Gideon only needed 300. You don't need much. You don't need many. All you need is the right team, the right people in your corner for exponential multiplied results in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive this rhema and this revelation today, I want you to give it some hearts and likes and say amen. So Jonathan had one armor bearer. And what did the armor bearer say? Whatever's in your heart to do, I am one with you. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Amen. Let's do it. Bam, bam, boom. Shaka baba. So guess what? They went for it and God gave them the strategy and they had the upper hand and they won the victory. Can I get an amen? Listen, friends, it doesn't matter if you have a little. It doesn't matter if you have much. It doesn't matter if there's nobody, if there's somebody, if all you have is Jesus. Come on, Rebisha. All you need is the Holy Ghost. All you need is the whisper of God. All you need is the mind of Christ. The strategy hit up of heaven. My goodness, I feel the glory of God. Listen, the Bible says that Jesus will give you the mind of Christ. In fact, the Bible says we have the mind of Christ. Do you need breakthrough? I release breakthrough thinking over your mind. I release breakthrough thinking over your mind. Come on, somebody. The Bible says Daniel was 10 times better than all of his cohorts. Daniel was 10 times better than all of his associates. Come on. And it's three for Why? Because they chose to stay away from what defiled the others. They chose to stay away from the king's delicacies. That's called separation. That's called consecration. That's called being set apart. Being set apart into the secret place, into the Holy of Holies, to seek the face of God, to be in the glory of the Holy Ghost. Come on, Rebe, I feel the glory. The Lord is saying some of you need to stop trying in the flesh and you need to come back to the realm of prayer. God is saying some of you need to stop trying and stop doing and stop laboring and you just need to die to yourself and get back to the prayer room in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you ready for the winds of God? Are you ready for the thoughts of heaven? Breakthrough thinking is your portion. Can I get amen? One strategy will, will populate heaven and it will plunder hell. One strategy. You need a strategy, my friends. You need strategic planning. You need the strategy of God. I believe in this month, God's wanted to give you uploads, downloads, breakthrough thinking, breakthrough strategies. God is wanting to release his plans over your life so that you will prevail. Once again, God's plans will prevail in your life. Our plans will fail. Even the best of our plans will fail. Even the best of our vain imagination will fail. Our best efforts will never be good enough, but the plans of God will prevail in your life. Can I get an amen? Listen, I believe there are some downloads coming to you, friends. Just some downloads. Listen, I just want to talk to you for a little bit more, and then I want to pray over you. Can I get an amen? Listen, friends, I mean, I'm getting so many downloads. Some would say creativity, okay? Right now, I'm just flowing in the spirit as I always do. The Nabi anointing, the Nabi flow, the Nabi prophetic river flow as it gushes and rushes out of my belly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But there's a realm of creativity. And I believe God is going to remove the writer's block, the creative block. God is going to remove the hemorrhage God's going to remove the stones. God is going to remove whatever's been clogging the flow of blood in your veins, in your body, and in your artery. It's called a cleanse. It's called a detox. Amen. God is about to cleanse and detox, and he's about to wash out whatever dead thing is in your system, whatever's secretly blocking in the seen realm and in the unseen realm. Come on, somebody. In the seen realm, 
Good to see you, Margaret Kilue, in the seen realm and in the unseen realm, because there are unseen enemies, okay? Witchcraft, uh, word curses, jealousy, gossip, slander, Christian witchcraft is one of the most evil things, and that definitely is a book that I'm going to be writing probably in the next year, all right? But God is wanting to release the realm of creativity, the aha, the breakthrough, that spirit of revelation. Let's go to the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to I want to give you this verse here. Hallelujah. Of course, in Ephesians. Hallelujah. In Ephesians. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians 1 17. Praise God. Now, many of you know this verse. Amen. Let's go to the Bible here. Ephesians 1 17. If you're with me today, say amen. If you're happy to hear from the man of God, Dr. Ben Lim, I want to say amen. It's good to see all of you lovely faces. Praise God. I believe with your help today, we can break that 200 mark. Amen. Here, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. Now we know that the spirit of wisdom and revelation is of the seven spirits of God, as we see in Isaiah 11 and in the book of Revelation. Amen. The seven spirits of God. Now God has wanted to give you counsel. God has wanted to give, oh, I feel the Lord. He's wanting to speak to you, minister to you in the midnight hour. He's wanting to bring you closer to the throne of God so that you begin to receive crystal clear words of knowledge, crystal clear plans, strategies, visions. Come on, the Bible says, Moses, he spoke face to face as a friend. The Bible says, do you not fear Moses? For he's not just a prophet, but he's my friend that I speak face to face with. Amen. Are you ready for face to face encounters? Do you know what that means? It's visible. It's revealed. It's not concealed for it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the glory of kings to search it out. God is saying, get ready for fresh manna. Get ready for fresh bread. Get ready for fresh quail. Come on, somebody. Get ready for insight, wisdom, intel, revelation. That's going to thrust you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. And I believe many of you right now, come on, somebody. I believe many of you right now, you've hit a wall, you've hit a roadblock, and you're crying out, God, I need your breakthrough. God, I need your favor. God, I need your hand. I need you to show up in my life. Can I get an amen? If that's you, say, that's me. And I believe from my life to yours, from this ministry to yours, I believe that there is a flow of revelation. He's going to give you the upper hand. Come on, somebody. He's going to sideswipe the enemy. He's going to shock and surprise your enemies. Come on. God is the God of second chances. God is the God of 11th hours. God is the God of suddenly. Someone shout suddenly. So I believe there's a realm of suddenlies that the spirit of God is beginning to release over his people. But are you listening? Are you open? Are you receiving? Are you being attentive to the word of the Lord? For the Bible says the word of the Lord began to come forth like a cloud the size of a man's hand. If that's you, say that's me. And I believe today God's going to break that spirit of despair, delay, and discouragement. Cha! And God is going to release that aha, that eureka moment, that light bulb revelation, that moment of encounter where the blinders fall off of your eyes and you begin to see what the Lord is showing you in Jesus' mighty name. Someone say amen. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. There's going to be strategies of God that's going to be downloaded. Do you need a strategy from heaven? Do you need a word from the Lord? Do you need God's plans to be released over you? Amen. The Bible says that God's plans shall prevail. Commit your ways unto the Lord, and he shall cause all your plans to succeed. Amen. Once again, let's go to this passage here. Hallelujah. Rebe Rebe, here in Proverbs 16, verse 1. The plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue woof, is from the Lord. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I feel the Lord. Another translation, NLT. The Lord gives the right answer. God gives the right answer. God is about to give you the right answer. 
Every good answer is not good enough. Only God's answer is good. Let me say that again. Every good answer is not good enough. Only God's answer is good. I remember John Bevere's book. He says that in the end times, it will not be evil against God, but it will be good against God. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, there's so much compromise, delusion, falsivity, deception that is rampant in the body of Christ. But God's about to give you the right answer. And I declare over you, God's plans will prevail. From today till the end of this month, get ready for the boomerang, the justice of God. Come on, somebody. If I be a man of God, let every word that is spoken from me to you, let it come to pass in this nation, in America, and wherever you're watching. If you receive it today, I want you to say amen. Now, lift up your hands. Begin to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Give us some hearts and likes, my friends. Thank you. I feel in my spirit. God is beginning to confirm some things in your life. God is beginning to confirm some words in your life. Listen, I feel this right now. I feel there's, there's three things I want to pray for right now. Number one, the first group of people are those that are struggling and you have hit a wall. You need breakthrough. You need breakthrough thinking. You need breakthrough strategy. You're saying, Dr. Ben, this word is for me. I need this in my life. You've hit a wall. You've tried everything you can try. You've gone around in the flesh. True. You've tried all of your best gifts, efforts. You've, you've labored. But now you're saying, all right, enough. God, I need you. I need a fresh wind. Shoot. I need a move of God in my life. I need you to move in my life. If that's you. I want to say amen and lift up your hands right now. And Lord, I thank you right now that you're beginning to move fresh breath, fresh power, dunamis, dynamite, dynamic power. Power come fire upon your people. Ekaraba, from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. And I rip off every witchcraft, every layer of heaviness, and oppression and confusion, delay and despair. And I break it off of the minds now in Jesus' name. Mata reboka, reba saka, rebo shataba. And I thank you, Lord, for the fire of God in Jesus' mighty name. If you receive that, say amen. The second group of people I want to pray for right now. The second group of people I want to pray for right now. I sense that there's increase movement there's life happening in your life there's some good happening but you need the wisdom of god you need the revelatory realm of jesus to invade your life you need jesus to speak to you you need god okay so you need strategies okay there's great things happening like for me in my life this is the best season of my life amen this is the best and greatest season of my life glory be to god but still we need strategy we need the word of the lord all right, we need the right answer from heaven. So I believe God wants to give you the right answer. So if you need the spirit of wisdom revelation in your life, because there's some, hear me now, there are some big decisions that need to be made. Ooh, I feel it. Whether you know it or not, whether it's for right now or in the next month, hear me now, from now till the end of 2023. Guys, guys, listen to me, friends. We are literally three months away from the new Hebrew year, from Rosh Hashanah. Do you know what that means? That means in the next one to two months, you're going to start hearing from me the prophetic word for 5784 and 2024. In fact, the Lord already told me 2024 is the year of glorification. According to Psalm 24, open up you gates, you ancient doors. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. So the Lord already told me about two years ago that 2024 is the year of glorification. But in the next one to two months, you're going to be hearing a lot more from me concerning the prophetic word of the year for 2024 and 5784. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. But we are in a mega season, a chiral season, where God wants to give you wisdom, revelation, 
the strategies and the plans of God, the blueprints of heaven, so that you will have the upper hand in Jesus' name. Like Esther, like David, like Jonathan. Can I get an amen? Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the fire of God. Bless your people. I thank you for open heavens. I thank you that you always hear me when I call out. You always hear your servants. Lord, I thank you. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Lord, I thank you for salvation, for deliverance, for rescue. I thank you for uprooting and uplifting. And I thank you for divine wisdom. I thank you for... In the intellect of Jesus, the SQ, the mind of God to come upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive that, say amen. Get ready for dreams and visions. In fact, even get ready for divine appointments. Friends, get ready for divine appointments. Some of you are literally going to come into a head collision with a suddenly. Can I talk to you again? Some of you are going to get into a head first collision. With a suddenly. Amen. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. If you receive that, say, I receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. The third group of people I want to pray and prophesy over right now. Amen. The third group of people I want to pray and prophesy over right now is for those people who need the justice of God. They need God to overturn some attacks, to turn some things around financially, spiritually, relationally. All right, there's attacks against you. There's oppression. There's things coming against The third group, listen, just like President Trump is being falsely indicted and accused, this shall not, the plans of God will prosper and prevail in your life. Amen. The word of the Lord will surely come to pass. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you that every seed, every arrow, every dart, every attack of witchcraft, wickedness from the pit of hell. It shall be subverted and destroyed by the fire of God. Rebecca. And I think for the whole, I just saw new angels being sent to you right now. Come on, somebody. I just saw a new batch realm of angels being dispatched to you right now. And these angels are going before you to prepare the way, to prepare the table of the Lord. These angels are now being sent before you as the agents of God, as God's head extension. These angels have gone before you to prepare the way and to prepare the table. I hear the Lord saying, get ready for angelic assistance. The impossible is going to happen. Suddenlies are going to happen. Doors and gates are going to fling wide open. There's going to be swift justice. The angels have been released in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it and receive it, I want to say amen. Shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. Glory be to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Angels. And why are angels important? Because the Bible says angels are here to serve, aid God's servants, God's children, you and I, amen. Cha! Angels are here to serve, to protect, to minister, to, to help. Hallelujah. Shoo! Angels. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to I feel the Lord. Jesus, let's just pray right now. Jesus. There's going to be sudden increase, sudden breakthrough, sudden glory, Jesus, in your life. Whew. Lift up your hands, stretch your hands towards the screen, or even put your hand on the screen. Jesus. Whew. Jesus. Hear me now. Hear me now. Hear the word of the Lord. By the end of June, what I saw right now, I saw papers like scrolls. I saw scrolls being rolled out and open on the table of the Lord. And I heard the Lord say, the case will be closed by the end of this month. 
The case will be closed by the end of this month. Contracts will be closed by the end of this month. Deals will be made, but there is going to be a closing by the end of Savan, by the end of June. But I see a closing in the realm of the spirit. Wow, thank you. Do you know why? Because we're about to hit, I believe, the month of Av. Wow. We're about to hit the month of Av. Jesus. And the, and the month of Av, it is the month of mourning. It's the month of destruction. Thank you, Lord. Reverabata. So it's the closing of a chapter. It's the closing of a chapter. Someone say amen. Someone say closure. For I saw a roll, a scroll of paper rolled out before you, before the Lord, on the table of the Lord. And as a scroll was rolled out, I heard the Lord say, the case is closed. And a scroll was now rolled back up. And as the Lord said, the case is closed, the Lord says the door will be closed, contracts will be closed, deals will be closed. So there is a finishing, amen. There is a finishing that's happening and that is coming. I'm just trying to confirm. I believe it is. Sharabrata. Sivanta Tamusta Av. Thank you. Sivanta Tamusta Av. But there is a closing that's coming. A closing in the heavens. Which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Because that means God's about to finish something in the spirit. God is about to finish, that's right, closing of a chapter. Then I want you to write that the end of June will be the closing of a chapter. The end of June will be the closing of a chapter. If you believe it, say amen. Thank you, Lord. Now lift up your hands. God, I thank you for the word of the Lord. Thank you to every word that's been. God, give your people revelation, wisdom, the mind of Christ. Downloads, uploads, blueprints. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God's plans will prevail in your life. Nothing can stop it. If you believe in it, if you receive it today, I want you to say amen. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Hallelujah. I want you to shout. Hallelujah. Shoo. Come on, glory be to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Even as many have graduated, so you are graduating in the glory. Can I get an amen? Listen, friends, listen. We are here in Tulsa. Next week, we'll be in Amarillo, Texas. Then we're going to be in Albuquerque. Then at the end of June, I'm going to be in Flagstaff, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. And I think... We have a wonderful suddenly up our sleeves. So you stay tuned. My goodness, I am just giggling in the Holy Ghost. I am just undone in the Lord. God is so good. You know, whenever God does something, he does it with an exclamation point. <laughs> he does it with an exclamation point. Amen. God is just that good. Hallelujah. Um, wow, wow, wow. Someone say wow. And friends, I want to remind you, this Monday, okay? Now, if probably Ivana or Alana can give me the link, please. This Monday, June 19, all right? I am doing a Zoom webinar. It's been a while. It's been about two months, I think. But two months feels like forever. But I'm doing a free Zoom webinar this Monday evening called The Realm of Suddenlies, okay? The realm of suddenlies. I want to say the realm of suddenlies, all right? It's going to be a free Zoom webinar, but you do need to register online. Amen. You do need to register online. Glory be to God. Because I believe we are in a season of suddenlies. So I want to talk to you 
about the realm of suddenlies, all right? How to break the spirit of delay, how to break the spirit of sabotage, how to increase or set up, live in the realm of suddenlies. So this Zoom webinar is 100% free, but you do have to register. Now, I have not seen my Zoom in our Zoom webinar family for about two months. Because of course, I went to Korea, I've been very, very busy, etc., etc. So I hope to see you. Register now, Monday, all right? Monday, June 19 at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. We're gonna talk about the realm of suddenlies because I believe this is a season of suddenlies. If you believe it, say amen. Suddenlies from God, not from the devil, okay? And we're gonna talk about that, amen? So it's gonna be eye-opening. Get ready to receive, get ready to learn and to step into the realm of suddenlies. If you're gonna join me, I want to say I'm joining, okay? If you're gonna join me, I want to say I am joining. And I would love to see you, it's free. Like I said, invite a friend, invite a hater, hallelujah. And like I said, uh, this week we are in Tulsa, the city number four of Route 66 Revival. Have you been watching our tent revivals? If not, go to Route 66 Revival on Facebook. Wow, wow, wow. Ibaba, God is so good. God's been moving very powerfully. So this is city number, only city number four in Tulsa. Then, like I said, we go over to Amarillo. Then we go over to Albuquerque. Then Flagstaff. Then Phoenix. Then LA. Amen. If you're joining, I want to say I'm joining. Tyler, good to see you, my friend. Bless you. Miss you dearly. Amen. Edward Dawkins, good to see you. Thanks for being a subscriber. Michelle Vargo Hutchinson, thank you. Bless you. Marilyn, God bless you. Claudia Hayden, amen. The realm of suddenlies. Rob Filler, amen. Can't wait to see the fillers again. Susan Q. Chen, bless you. Margaret Killaway, Yakwe, Yakwe, my Marshallese family. Hallelujah. Marelli Ramos, amen. Lori Rennie, these are some names I've never seen before. So good to see some new names, some new faces. Vika Naikovu, amen. Lindsay Marsh, God bless you. Reverabosa Tarabrata Taraba, Babed Fujimoto, God bless you. Lance Mistal, shalom to you. Faith David Daniel, amen, amen. And listen, if you have friends in Tulsa, Phoenix, Flagstaff, Amarillo, LA, tell them about Route 66 Road. These meetings have been epic. Okay, super epic. Sandy Stickle, God bless you. Thank you. Hello from London. God bless you. Yay, sha ta ta ta. The realm of suddenlies. Hallelujah. Multiple suddenlies. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh, Yahweh. Glory be to God. Jesus. Well, thank you, friends. I love you. Thanks for joining today. I hope you were blessed. If you were blessed and if you received, thank you, Laura Rennie. If you're blessed, my today's broadcast. Consider sharing on your wall so we can reach more people with the prophetic word of the Lord. And as well, consider following, liking, subscribing to this Facebook page. Amen. As well, consider following me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, because every platform has different type of content. God bless you, friends. I love you. This is Dr. Ben Lim from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the belt buckle of the belt Bible Belt of America. God bless and shalom.